here is thank you very much for being on Electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, this video right here, uh, it's a video that was teaching you how you can add indicator lights like these ones on your control panel. But it seems like uh, some other comment did go well, as in people didn't understand really the circuit, though the video was really interesting, okay? So today, I want us to go through uh, this circuit here so that we can, all of us can understand it very well, okay? So uh, it's a, loop, uh, a lubrica of that video, but we understand the concept of uh, this circuit here. Hope that will help, okay? So join me. All right. Now, uh, first of all, we begin with this, which is what we all know, uh, how you self-hold your circuit. But in this case, let's say you have a pump that uh, you want to run, okay? And um, you need to give it these two buttons, okay? Stop and uh, start, okay? So you have start right there, and you have stop right there so at these two button is right here okay and uh, and then you have three lights okay and you want to indicate these lights perhaps you want to indicate uh, things like you want to indicate things like uh, stop so uh, your circuit should always show if the pump stopped uh, a certain light will glow will be will become on okay and then you want also to indicate when the pump is running okay then the other thing also you want to indicate when uh the pump trip okay so these are the most crucial uh, you know indication in such a simple circuit right so you have stop you have run you have trip so if your circuit trips you definitely know which light is on and you know what you to act upon okay so in this circuit uh you will require something like uh an overload relay this one here and then you have a contactor you have these buttons here as the video that uh i've showed you right here a link in the des description uh it shows okay all right now uh, let's go ahead. Now you have your circuit here. You have your contactor that you've wired with everything, like the way that video indicates. Now what we're gonna do? Uh, we need to f to start with uh, the run. Let us stop. Okay. Let us start with the the stop. So if the circuit is not in use, okay, it is it is it is not in use completely. You have remember this is alive, so it means that your current comes and hang right here. Okay, your current comes and hangs right here because we have it comes and hangs right here, but because you have not run the circuit, so it would just at this point. Okay, so if you want to add this light, one light uh, to indicate that this circuit is in stop position, then what you're gonna do, you'll need a normally closed, you know, contact. So on your contactor like this, you're going to have an auxiliary like this, which has normally uh, closed. And you'll have it uh, hooked on this contactor very well. Okay? Like this. So this is what I'm going to show right here. So since this is your contact uh, hold normally open, so we're just going to add here. Okay? So we are just going to add normally closed here, okay? Okay, we'll just add normally closed here. And, and in that case, what we are gonna do, we will put here a light, okay? If I use a different color, it will make more sense. Okay, so this now becomes our light right there for stop, okay? 
All right. Now, because the circuit is at standstill, so definitely this is normally closed, our current will now be, you know, going through here. Okay? All right? Okay. All right. Now, if we mean that a circuit can run, and now the second part is you're done here, then run. So when you're connecting run, okay, you use normally open contact, okay? Again, on this contact, already you have a cell fold here, so no problem. You can still, you know, run and put here, okay? You can run and put here your light. And put here that light. Okay? So, this is normally open. Now, definitely, if now you press this button here, which is the start, if you press it, uh, our circuit will energize, okay? And when do so, this contact will close and this contact will open, okay? So, in this case, so in that case, this opens and then this closes. And then now this one will run because now we have we can show here, run, we can show here, uh, stop, okay? So, again, if you stop this circuit here, then that means that the reverse is true. This will close, and this light will go on, and then this will open, okay? I hope I'm clear there. All right. All right, now. Uh, we've already done st uh, stop, uh, run. Now let us tackle trip, okay? Now trip, we have to involve this guy here, the overload relay. This overload relay uh, clips on the contactor and it protects the contactor uh, from overload current, okay? We'll talk about that in another video, okay? So this is how we connect an overload, okay? First of all, in your circuit here, you have to indicate it. So we break here. And we indicate there, okay? This is, that's an overload, okay? Now, how do we connect an overload? This overload has got two sets of contacts. It has got uh, normally closed and normally open contact, okay? And normally, when we are connecting in our circuit, we use normally closed. This normally closed, it operates the circuit. It de-energizes the circuit in the event of any fault occurrence. So in case a fault occur, uh, you know, it will operate, okay? In order by metallic strip, you know, bulges, and then disconnect the circuit. When it does, the normally closed becomes open, and then the open one becomes closed. Okay, you know that. So, uh, this contact, the normally closed is where we connect our circuit. So, through normally closed, then to our stop. That means that before the stop, we have to go through the overload, which is this normally closed contact, the 95, 96. Okay? Now, the other normally open, it's where we connect our, uh, it's where we connect our indicator light. Okay, which will now show us that the circuit has tripped, all right? So, we are able to add here. So, and this will be, and now this is going to be trip and what does this is that's overload okay so in the event like i said earlier of a fault okay this overload here will you know de-energizes the entire circuit okay so in doing so remember above here so from here downwards, the circuit will be de-energized, and then above here, we still have current hanging this side. 
So if the, uh, the overload will close this contact where we have the light. So in that way, you're able to come and know the status of, uh, of your circuit in case your pump is not running, okay? So it's simple as that. So normally, that's the way it's done. So I hope I've, uh, you know, elaborated this thing uh, quite clear. Hope so. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, put it in the comment below, okay? Can pause the video, have uh, this, or you can try it uh, yourself and see, all right? So, I really appreciate your time on Electrica. I do appreciate that. Thank you. If you're new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe, to like, and share. And share, I mean, can share to the person you think that uh, this kind of content uh, they enjoy, okay? So, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that. Until next time. I'm out.